What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. A lot of things have happened in the United States and abroad over the last few years. One of the biggest things that happened in our country has kind of been swept under the rug over the last mm, two or three years. It's a gentleman by the name of Edward Snowden who now lives in Russia who actually leaked documents that alerted the public that the NSA was illegally spying on us. That's right, all our emails, telephone calls, data mining, all that information was going to the NSA, and it still does. And so he leaked this information. Of course, the news media, who is owned by the government, said he was uh, a really, really bad criminal, a war criminal. He deserved to be killed for leaking the information that basically said that we, the people, were being spied on by our government. So he absconded to Russia and Vladimir Putin and the good people of Russia gave him immunity and they allowed him to stay there because, of course, in the United States, he's considered a war criminal uh, for leaking information that pertained to the free people of the country, that all our information was being stolen and data mined illegally without a warrant by our own government. So for me, Edward Snowden deserves the Nobel Peace Prize every year until he's allowed to come home and celebrate with the people who he has liberated through his acts. Because he was a very well-paid NSA operative. He was very well-paid. He had the life of luxury. He worked in a nice cubbyhole office. And he basically, he was getting information that he knew was illegal about American citizens and uh, American politicians as well as politicians abroad in other countries. He knew it was illegal and he figured he would do something about it. So he contacted the Guardian newspaper. He got in touch with Glenn Greenwald and basically they started to leak out this information to the people about what the government was perpetrating and doing illegally against us. And I still say that the government should be held more accountable for what has happened and it's still happening and a lot of people now are more focused on Beyonce at the Super Bowl and, and Kanye West making a video game and Kim Kardashian and these these tricks and hoes out there in the world of hip-hop and music and on television than the real heroes out there like Edward Snowden. But good things do happen in the world every now and then. And Edward Snowden has inspired a spy video game. I'll drop a link in the description. A new video game aiming to expose suffocating privacy invasions carried out by intelligence agencies has drawn some of its inspiration from controversial National Security Agency whistleblower Edward Snowden. The game called Need to Know requires players to climb the ranks of the fictional Department of Liberty, a government agency seemingly based on the NSA, whose mass surveillance programs Mr. Snowden exposed through leaks in 2013. Players must decide whether to spy on citizens to gain information or leak intel from the department to underground media groups. The game was developed by Australia-based Monomyth Games. The company hopes to raise $29,000 through crowdfunding to complete the game. Quote, Electronic surveillance is a huge issue for everybody today and will only grow more pressing. Need to Know lets us spy on citizens, texts, emails, geodata, and much more. How you'll use this information is where the real excitement and moral conflicts begin, end quote, which is on the game's Kickstarter page. Edward Snowden acknowledged his role in inspiring the game with a tweet. It says, quote, Art imitates life. He tweeted that out with the link to the game's Kickstarter page. If there was a game I would ask you guys to support, I would ask you guys to support Need to Know because it's one of those situations that we do need to know. We do need to know everything that's going on in this country. We have kind of forgotten the fact that the public servants are the public servants and not the public overlords, that they are there to enforce the law, not to make the law. They are not the law and they are not above the law. We've kind of forgotten that. As American citizens, it's easy to get caught up in the rig and roll of life, and you forget the rig and roll of the government. These people are not here to inflict their own draconian laws on you. They are here to support and enforce the laws that already exist. This warrantless wiretapping that's going on in the country is illegal. You know, it's part of our Constitution that we are not to be illegally searched and seized. If you make a phone call, an email, or a text, and if they data mine that, that's illegally obtaining your information, and there needs to be penalties for that. It's a very, very slippery slope until we get to that place where our rights mean nothing. They're already almost to the point now. Our rights are being eviscerated as we speak. The Constitution is being chopped up like chop suey. You know, these politicians are working very hard to get more power for the wealthy and less power for the common man. 
And so I kind of went off on a tangent because I honestly feel that this is an important game. It's an important part of life in general. It's not just an American thing. It's, it's a human right to be able to live free and enjoy your life and not have people spying on you and knowing everything that you're doing. But I'm really happy that someone took notice of this game. I just wish that more people would still talk about Edward Snowden. I wish more people knew about who he was, who he is, and what he's done to help the American people because, honestly, he's an American hero. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you know who Edward Snowden is? Do you support him as a man? Do you think that what the government has done to him is wrong and should he be allowed to come home? Also, would you be interested in playing the game? Need to know. I'll drop a link in the description for anyone who wants to support the game. I'm definitely going to do that now. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the Beastly Gamer channel, and definitely, definitely subscribe. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Take a, take a, take a, take a, take a